I got a headbanger. Y'all better hold on for this one. Public schooling. Let's talk about it. Look, Ma, here's proof of how the public indoctrination system is designed to create employees and stifle children's ability to think critically by preventing inventive minds and fostering in capital, creating men. Coming from an industry where upper management wouldn't even pay you the time of day or look at you unless you had a high school diploma or degree, I'm about to blow some socks off. I want to introduce y'all to somebody. This guy's name is Alexander James Inglis. He was an American author and educator who was instrumental in promoting the new American secondary education at the beginning of the 20th century. His scholarship largely shaped modern public schools and continues to be influential. For those of you who don't know, third level or third stage is what the World Bank defines as universities, trade schools, and colleges. Well, this guy authored a book called The Principles of Secondary Education. This super boring book is 776 pages long and tucked away in chapter 10 part 2 on page 375 the functions of secondary school he gives six primary functions of secondary school and here they are number one the adjustive or adaptive function this is the establishment of fixed habits of reaction to authority mm -hmm. number two the integrated or conformity function develop like-mindedness unity in thoughts and habits number three the diagnostic and directive function. Label children to mark them in a class hierarchy structure. So basically like where they're at in society is where they're stuck and they have to stay and everybody accepts it. Number four, the differentiating function. A divide and conquer strategy to immobilize and social structure. Number five, the selective function. Preservation of the favored races. See Darwin's eugenics. And this one's a, a Roman word, the propiatic function, grooming of those in higher classes to manage the lower classes. If you want this book, it's free on my website in PDF form. And for anyone interested, I also highly suggest watching this extremely long but absolutely mind-blowing interview, especially for anyone involved in teaching.